Hey, what's up you guys? It's good to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, I'm here to uh, give you another uh, video. Um, I've been busy. You'll, uh, you'll see later why. So I pre prepared uh, another video for you and uh, well, it took me uh, a couple of months to uh, finish this uh, treatment and uh, well, hopefully you like it. So let's go and proceed. Hey, good day guys. What's up? Um, we are on a uh, mission today. It's not a mission actually. It's uh, We have uh, a task. I have a task that I want to uh, accomplish. Uh, we have uh, one farm with uh, some animals with the mange. And it's been uh, <coughs> it's been on the farm for quite a while now. This was the farm that I uh, treated the uh, mange before. But uh, again, it uh, recurred as uh, there was no maintenance done by the farm owner. However, um, I'm here again. They transferred into a new location, so that's good because um, we don't want uh, we don't want them to be on the uh, on the old location where it's already infested by uh, by mange. So uh, we brought some medicine for mange and uh, injectable and uh, also uh, topical. So uh, it will be about uh, 30 heads in total. Okay, I'll discuss this uh, with you later, but uh, for now, I'll show you how it's done. Let's All go. Right, so we are uh, preparing the things that we will be needing. Here is my assistant, Ruben. So we have uh, subcutaneous inject injectable um, ivermectin. And we'll be giving uh, each animal about 1 and uh, 1.5 ml. So we're preparing it uh, already. I'm placing them in a disposable syringe in disposable syringes and then we also have uh, this uh, spray paint so we can identify which animal is done and we have uh, sulfur cream where's sulfur cream Robert? deep sulfur cream okay so i'll show you the sulfur cream that we'll be using this my assistant is uh, taking it out okay so this is what uh, we're going to be needing So in combination of these two uh, drugs, well, I, it, I've, I've proven that it is effective as long as uh, we do it uh, on a program, meaning uh, we'll do it uh, in the span of uh, three months. So first, uh, two weeks of treatment, and then uh, we'll come back after two weeks again. So let's go. We're ready. Okay. So... Our animals are ready. They're in, uh, in a smaller shed. Okay, go. Okay, so these are all the animals that we will be injecting with uh, ivermectin. I'll get one that is uh, up close so that you can see uh, the affected area where the mange is. Uh, where the main is okay so let's start okay those <clears throat> all right guys so before we proceed with the video i uh, just want to show you one animal uh, that we captured uh, to show you the extent of the damage that uh, this uh, mites can uh, you know give to the animals so uh, if you look at the face of the animal and also the edges of the ears you'll see um, severe crusting of the skin so uh, the wool is completely gone and uh, the face is just uh, um, completely it's like with alopecia so uh, it's also crusted the skin and as you can see the uh, the damage also extended to the nape up to the wither of the animal and uh, that is uh, um, also affecting the animal's health if uh, you can see the animal it is em emaciated so the animals uh, I, I don't know if it, there's already secondary bacterial infection but there's no pus um, uh, accumulated or originating from the crusted the skin however um, the animal is severely emaciated so that i can say is uh, um, 
one of the um, factors or one of the things that you can see and with animal in animals with the, this kind of infestation and uh, because it's so uh, annoying to the animal and it's irritating and uh, they always scratch all the time so they are unable to nourish themselves well they, they cannot groom themselves well and uh, it uh, ends up uh, with an animal that is uh, uh, severely malnourished and emaciated okay so let's go on with the video okay so here is our uh... One, here's a sample one animal, the mange. So, have a look. The bridge of the nose is affected. The ears. And the back. Alright, so this is a, a task. It will take time. So, let's start. Hey guys, so uh, before we head on and continue with the video, um, there's one thing that I need uh, uh, to note um, and also I need to uh, say. Um, when treating mange or uh, mites infestation, it is essential that uh, we are aware of uh, the parasite's uh, life cycle. So it is uh, an important part of the treatment because um, we cannot just uh, apply treatment and then ignore um, their, uh, you know, their cycle or their lifespan. So um, with uh, the interruption of their lifespan, we will be able to eliminate them quickly and uh, be able to achieve uh, our goal, which is to uh, um, to get rid of uh, this uh, spread of these parasites so uh, these parasites in particular the mange the mites in sheep and goats or in this uh, video in sheep um, they uh, they have a life lifespan of about 40 days from uh, egg to adulthood and then uh, they uh, they spread and they uh, lay eggs um, during their adult life and uh, in a, in a week week time or less than a week time they will have uh, larva and then there will be the nymphal stage and then there will be the adult stage so four stages all together so that's what we need to eliminate and that's why we have three um, three uh, visits that we did on the farm this is so, so that we can interrupt those uh, cycle that the uh, paras that the parasite is uh, having on the animal because they live all they live their lives uh, all throughout the animal uh, the animal's body and by the way um, they borrow on the skin under under just under the stratus uh, corneum which is the second the first layer of the skin and that's why as you can see there uh, there is uh, obvious um, crusting of the skin when the, the mites uh, um, invade this area of the animal. Okay, so let's head on and continue with the video. Okay, so this is the sulfur cream that we've been uh, applying and that's color yellow and that's how the mange looks like on a sheep. Oh. Yeah, alas. Okay, so we have the two medicines available with us. We got this one, which is I subcutaneous. And then we have <clears throat> this one right here. This is intramuscular. But uh, to all of the animals, we g we've given them uh, this one and uh, this one. So the last batch is, was this one. Alright, so we'll, we're done. This is uh, for today, the shed that we will be uh, finishing uh, with. So 
for next week we have another one so we're not gonna mix this uh, we, we're not gonna mix them uh, because this will be scheduled for the next uh, after two weeks we'll be returning and uh, give them another round of uh, um, ivermectin injectable all right so let's head on to the next farm see ya hey what's up guys um, we are on another farm okay I'll show you an up close of uh, the mange so this is another case of mange I'll show you one that uh, hasn't been treated yet Munir MC Kwahe and read the video okay so we caught one I'll show you the extent of uh, the mange if it's not uh, addressed properly or if it's not uh, um, given medication okay here, here's another patient look at this there's no more there's no more hair on that uh, bridge of the nose on top of the orbit of the eye and this part here the ear that one also so it's not a pretty sight so we have to uh, well we'll see if uh, it will respond to our treatment here's my assistant again he'll apply the sulfur clean Munir, Insectani Ibra Ibra okay we'll leave this one now we'll get <coughs> we'll catch another one okay see it's terrible it does not look good at all okay Lala, uh, cream. Look at cream. Let's go. Good morning, guys. So here we are again. Uh, we have uh, these um, animals for uh, ivermectin injection. So we have. Uh, already um, mange going on here for quite a while and this is the only time that we have uh, the opportunity that we have to uh, give it um, medication uh, this shed um, they're no longer pregnant so it's safe to uh, give that ivermectin uh, injection but that those outside they are still uh, pregnant, so we'll wait until uh, they give uh, birth. Okay, so these are the animals that we will be um, treating. So, let's do it. Alright guys, so here is one uh, animal. Wait, wait, wait. Look at this. So, look at that one right there. So, we'll, we'll apply this the same as what we did on the last farm and the uh, Dora Mectin. Okay, so we'll, thank you. Okay, and then we'll give it one ml of Doramectin IM.
Alright guys, so we are on a different farm again. This is another farm where we have uh, minge again, but we're here to uh, help the animals. So we brought medicine, we brought uh, injectable, uh, injectable uh, doramectin and ivermectin to give it to this uh, poor animal suffering from minge. So it's about uh, 50 heads, I think. Okay, so we'll uh, catch them one by one, give them uh, injectable uh, um, medication. So let's go.